Hello, this is Danpro. Welcome back to another portion of my Rigify tutorial series. In this tutorial, I'm actually going to talk about some new additions to 2.78. So Rigify actually got a couple of pretty neat additions to it with this uh, 2.78 uh, blender. So one of the things that's long been missing from the Pitchy Boy versions of the Rigify rigs and for the biped arms and the biped legs has been IK and FK snapping. And you can see I've got the FK arm or IK arm here um, selected right now and over here in my rig main properties this um, meta rig was uh, created with 2.78 and we have FK and IK snapping so uh, this is actually a pretty huge deal um, actually um, the reason I normally don't use the pitchy poi versions even though there's a bunch of features in here that I actually prefer over the original um, uh, biped arm and rig wigs Rig, leg rigs rather is uh, the fact that it didn't have IK and FK snapping so if I just do snap FK to IK you can see the FK control snap over there let me just undo that or I can snap my IK to, to FK now that seems pretty simple but uh, if you've ever done any animation um, let me tell you I'm sure you know um, having a rig that does not have IK and FK snapping in it is a real pain so if we would have to um, line up our FK rig so we could do a, a switch uh, during our animations to do this manually is really a pain it's really hard to do um, the accuracy is it takes you a long time to get everything set up so this simple switch here when I just click it and put those FK um, controls right where the IK are or the IK where the FK is uh, it's a huge time saver so when you're making things like uh, pose library um, adding poses to the pose library a lot of times you'll set up your um, poses with like FK arms but if you actually want to use that pose without um, in a different animation um, and you want that position to be using uh, IK um, it's really difficult to have to pose this twice so with FK and IK to make that pose usable to whether your rig is using IK or FK so I hope that makes sense so there's a uh, IK and FK snapping for me is just a must for any rig uh, if I can get it on there for free I need it so uh, let's actually talk about a few of the things that make um, the pitchy poi rig a little bit different than the original uh, Rigify rig. So first off is there's no pull targets for the arms or the legs. So notice there's nothing floating around back there. So the, the way you would um, change the direction of the elbows or the knees is to use this upper control here called upper arm IK.L and uh, basically all you need to do is rotate a single axis here so it's RYY and that changes the direction. This really simplifies things in the graph editor and I think it's uh, far superior to using pole targets with IK chains. So let's take a look at um, the original Rigify rig and how that works. So if we were to manipulate our hand here we would then have to uh, change the location of our uh, elbow target and changing it around uh, basically the upper and lower uh, arm bones is uh, what's going to be needed to change the direction of that arm so uh, in order to do that we need to use uh, X Y and Z location values and a lot of times um, one or two of those values actually isn't doing anything so it just it just um, really makes um, the graph editor a little bit messier than it needs to be so I always prefer to set up my rigs without pull targets um, if I can but like I mentioned before IKFK snapping was not available for the pitchy poi rig uh, until 7.8 so now we have uh, that option to use that so like I said I'm I usually uh, always use the normal pitchy poi rig for that IK and FK snapping um, and now I can use um, the pitchy poi version instead because I actually prefer this method rather than having that pole target so one other thing that's very useful here let me just try to get a arm position here that's we can see is um, in the pitchy poi rig it uses what's called soft IK so if I take this um, hand target and start moving it out you'll notice that that elbow the arm stretches just a little bit and it's a very um, even uh, when it when it gets to a straight, and I'll actually show you. And what that does is it stops um, the arm from popping. 
let me just clear out this rotation and location on our Eve rig here. And I can show you this with a normal IK setup. If I just move this in a little bit, it pops uh, quite badly. Reset everything here. Okay. Now if I go top down, you should see that pop. It's almost impossible to stop that popping from happening. You see how this, I'm barely moving it and all of a sudden that elbow just pops out of position. And I'll, I can kind of tell you the math or uh, I've read papers about how why this happens. It's basically the speed of this joint goes to infinity so it's really hard. Um, it's something we, you have always have to guard against when you're animating with IK is you never want to straighten your hand 100%. Well there's a lot of times where you need that to be straight and getting those um, pops are out are really tough so this is kind of one of the reasons why these tweak bones were put in there so we can actually stretch and tweak and save that popping kind of eliminate that but with the pitchy poi rig you don't have to worry about it because it's using soft IK so there's a little bit of a stretch there that eliminates that popping so that's another reason why I prefer the pitchy poi over the the original next up is um, let's get back to these tweak bones here I usually don't find these location let me just clear out the rotations or locations rather um, I don't find these tweak bones very helpful in a lot of instances like I just mentioned they are helpful to um, undo some of those popping the popping that happens with a, a typical IK setup but if I rotate this control it doesn't do anything if I scale it it doesn't do anything but on the pitchy poi version these controls actually have a lot of other different functionality. Let me just clear everything out here. So I can actually rotate this control and I can get some rotations of the um, deformation bones within. Now that might not seem useful but it actually can really help um, especially with extreme poses to uh, finalize how those uh, these deformation bones are affecting that mesh. And I apologize for not having a better um, uh, setup here where you could actually see something attached to the mesh and I could show that. But uh, trust me, this is a highly useful um, feature to be able to rotate those uh, inner um, bones here, these deformation bones with these tweak controls. So just like the other one, you can also change the location, but uh, the rotation only changes the Y rotation of, of the bone and you can also scale the X and Z value so you won't stretch it but you can get a lot of squash and stretch with these controllers as well so another reason why I prefer the pitchy poi rig uh, over the original one so I actually add these uh, the scaling uh, and rotating um, to the original versions but uh, and I was planning on making a tutorial on a tutorial on how to do that but I think uh, at this point since the pitchy poi uh, version now has IK and FK snapping I think I'll probably uh, just leave that out for now so uh, one of the that's one thing the IK FK snapping for these pitchy poi um, leg and biped arm rigs now that would be enough to make me very happy but there's actually one other one in here that kind of sends it over the top previously we only had um, ways to add uh, biped arms and legs and I quickly set this new meta rig up and you can see it's a dog leg so three different bones here so with the new uh, 2.78 we have some extra um, rig samples that we can add you'll see pitchy boy limbs super rear paw and we've got super front paw so that's how I basically added these if you remember from previous tutorials on how I uh, if you add rig types here you can just select this super uh, rear paw click that and that's how I basically built this meta rig here so pretty cool that that addition was let me just back up here get that out of there so after I set this up I generated rig and now I have a quadruped um, leg so this is something that's been missing for quite a while in Rigify is a way to make this three bone legs for um, dogs, chickens, T-Rexes, uh, whatever you uh, um, can think of here. So pretty nice that this was added and it, um, 
this version also has all the typical pitchy poi stretchy controls the rotation controls this um, you can scale all these different parts um, there is no the the quadruped rig also works without a pole target so um, this upper bone is going to rotate the joint or the basically the elbow here the joint between this upper bone and the next bone in the chain and this one it's got a slightly different if you can see that here I know that I've got a lot of things on the screen right now but um, this one is going to change this joint so pretty cool no pole targets and that's what I prefer also um, we have IK and FK snapping for it so you can if you want to do uh, create a dog have them swimming uh, FK is nice to use in situations like that where you don't have uh, a limb stuck to something and of course most of the time you'll probably have an IK mode because most of the time your dogs will be stuck to the ground so uh, pretty excited about those new features here and I see a lot of character or uh, creature and dog rigging and things like that in my future so I wanted to point those things out and I actually didn't even get to some of these other features that have been added to 2.78 uh, let me just show one quick I'm gonna select a deformation bone and you can see we have bendy bones now I'll have to do a tutorial later on what this does let me actually maybe I can find a um, well let me show you one more thing here because I actually took that quadruped leg and I set it up I was wondering if I could set it up quickly to uh, do like a spider leg so here I've got a, a different setup here let me see here so this would be more like a spider leg and this is the rig that was generated to, for it and once again we've got the stretchy bones and we can uh, rotate these joints here Oops. Straighten that out a little bit. There we go. So, pretty cool that we can use um, that quadruped rigging for more than just quadrupeds. We could probably use it for, um, I'm going to do a few testing for tentacles and things like that, but I know arachnid type legs would work, uh, insect legs would work pretty well with this, uh, just from this basic test here. Um, let me show you that uh, bendy bone thing here. I'm going to switch to B bones and now we can see if I select one of these deformation bones like I said I'll have to do a different tutorial on these bendy bones but there's a lot of new um, options here that were not possible so bendy bones are actually going to really simplify and really uh, kinda change uh, the way we rig from now on so take a look I know there's quite a few new tutorials on uh, bendy bones on YouTube right now I'll be adding my own later, but definitely you want to look that up. So, pretty happy about these new additions for 2.78. Until next time, I hope they, these um, new rig types and the auto um, IK and FK snapping is going to come and uh, help you with your projects. Till next time, good luck.